Welcome back to another video guys. So before directly jumping into decreasing the stocks from the database, I'm gonna clean this bit like uh, when we get when we add one product to the database, we don't want to show that information longer. So we will delete the value. I mean not the value, the buttons and all. So starting from so it won't matter when we delete this because it will auto generate it later so what we need to delete is we need to delete this quantity L, quantity E, discount L, discount E, add to cart button maybe change first start let's delete the quantity self dot quantity L so there are many methods like you can simply use the destroy method but the one good method is a place forget what place forget does is it forgets the its own place and vanishes so similarly we can do the same for quantity e dot place forget we are keeping inside loop so that it runs every time until i mean the, it has been over so some the quantities have got discount level dot place forget self dot discount entry dot place forget self dot I think there's a change mm, change L and change E self dot change L dot place forget self dot change E dot place forget so let's try this how are we doing this? Uh, number one, I'll buy two of them. Add to card, and I think this should go. So okay, this is not gone, and not even this. So we are going to remove that as well. Product name. What is the product name? So this is the product name. We cannot place forget this because it is not working under Ajax. It is working under constructor. What we can do instead is we can set its value to default. Sub the product name and sub the p price. What we can do is self dot product name dot configure text is equals empty so it will disappear itself. P price dot configure text equals to empty. So the button add to cart is change button in the Ajax somewhere I guess. Self dot add to cart yes and this is an element that we are going to destroy just to show you how it works we'll destroy literally so one search two okay we'll add to the card it will clean this mess up number two we will again create this stuff number three add to card so it, mean, it is making quite good we'll remove this as well calculate change so where is calculate change? Change BTN. Okay. We'll destroy that as well. Change BTN the destroy. Okay, what else can we do is we can after destroying all this stuff, we can autofocus to the enter ID for more efficiency. For less time, you know. So we'll enter ID. What is it's I think it's enter LB IDLE or something like that. Yes, enter IDE. So that enter IDE. We'll say self dot enter IDE dot focus, and we will delete this previous input that we did. So what we'll, what we can do with self dot enter IDE dot delete zero end. So let me show you how this works. So it is self focus. We'll say one search to add to cart so it is self focusing itself again to this same thing deleting everything to search three add to cart three search one add to cart and everything is, seems to be working so that's it for this video and uh, in upcoming video i will finally talk about decreasing the value from the database i mean start from the database and generating the bill thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video